Hello, Mario! In this video, 26, alignment 1, we're going to take a look at doing some road alignments and getting them sorted out. Now there's probably a bit of a process that we go have to go through. And certainly, this is a bit of a journey for me. I'm sort of finding my way with the with the software and trying to make it work and do what I want. So it may be that I head down a tangential path to what is probably optimum, but I'm going to go ahead with that and see where it leads. I'm doing this at a very basic and elemental level. I'm very much aware that the software has moved on a little bit from some of the things that I'm doing. And so it will be a journey of discovery down that path to some extent. But before we uh, go too much further with that, I think we need to just take a, take a step back and just have a bit of a look at what, what it is we're doing and where we're going with things. So I'm just, what I've done here is this is my basic uh, setup here, and I'm going certainly to um, have a look at that close up. So what we what we find here is, well, you'll find is that I've actually, from my, um, the work that I've done in um, previously and in AutoCAD, when I, when I was setting this up, is I've downloaded and added it to the 12D files my actual, what I call my road geometry files. So here's my, my lines and my IPs here. So this would be road one through here. And then we're going to put a horizontal curve in there. So I've got all the geometry sorted out for that so that we can know where the tangent points are. This is a straight line up here, around here, and then a, a, a curve in here. This is an 80 metre radius, and this 150 metre radius. Now, just to have a bit of a look as to how, how this is going to play out, in the first instance, we sort out the horizontal ge geometry as if it's flat, and then... With, we work on the vertical geometry, and these give us our alignment. So once we've uh, worked away on an alignment, we then start to look at the templates, or the typical cross-sections. And we have, in this case here, I've had a, got a typical cross-section that applies to all roads. And essentially what we do is we extrude that typical cross-section down each of the road alignments. And then that, that gives us our, our batters and things into as they meet the natural ground. Following on from that, in a third step, we then start to look at what we call the curb ret returns, here and here, here and here, and get the batters and strings that are generated to join up round through here and the curb returns and then we also look at the cul-de-sac. So within 12D there are a number of ways of doing this and there are basic ways which I'm going to explore in the first instance and then there are other ways that tend to automate the whole process and allow for small changes, if you can imagine that if you can get the whole process automated and then you can do small changes and then just with a push of button recalculate everything, you're in a pretty good place to determine optimum um, design parameters, in particular with the balancing of perhaps cut and fill, uh, achieving uh, earthworks sort of grades, overland flow sort of situations and things like that. So let's get cracking. So the first thing is 
we're going to do the horizontal alignment. Strings create super alignments. Super alignment. And we get this um, sort of thing here. And so I'm going to give my first super alignment here a name. And I'm going to call it road one. And the model for that, well, I'll just put road one, enter. And the model I'm going to put for that is road one. Okay, and the colour perhaps doesn't matter quite so much. Horizontal and vertical lines. Chainage, zero from the start point. The interval, I'm going to go with 10 metres. The labels, I want to go with a full label. So I'm going to go full. Uh, transition, I'm happy with that. Closed, that doesn't need anything. And the IP defaults are curve radius and curve length. Okay, so now we're going to go create. And that creates this little uh, thing up here which relates to road one. So first we'll look at the horizontal geometry and I'll probably look at that for all of the roads first. Horizontal geometry append HIP and HIP stands for horizontal intersection points. So the first one is in here and it's a point. Click and accept. Okay. And then I'm going to zoom out here, and I've got a horizontal point here. Very important that you zoom in nice and close. Make sure you get the, the actual point. There, got the point. Click Accept. And then I'm going to go to the other one through here. Right, so, and I want to just go to the end there. To that point there, point on there, click and accept, and that's it there. So that's cool, and oh, that's all good. So that's my um, the straight lines put in there. Um, you can see the bearings and distances on them and the chainages. Um, they seem to be. Um, seem to be consistent with what I thought they would. Now we just want to put this curve in here and we click into here, let that run down and that's um, we need to, oh no, we go over to here, sorry. And we're going to put in a curve. Change curve. So we go change curve, we accept that little IP there Accept, and we get this little box here, and it's asking for the radius. And I think pretty sure the radius I had in there was 150 meters. So we put that in, and there we go. There's our vertical alignment one is all sorted out there, and it's been put into the in in, in the situation there, and it all looks pretty good. All right, so now. We're going to create the horizontal alignment for road two. Yes, I'll save the project. So pretty much just the same pro strings, strings edit. Sorry, the strings create super alignment, super alignment. And this one here will be road two. Road two. Control A. Oops. No. Control C. Into here. Control V. Okay, dark green one one chainage zero at the start point interval. Uh, yeah, we'll go with ten meters. The label um, will go with full. 
transitions all good closures all good yep IPs all seems very good uh, create okay and we'll um, that creates row two for us here here it is here so we um, I'll perhaps get it out of the way a little bit so here we go uh, HIP horizontal there and we put that that point there accept and then we're just going with this one here we're just going to here uh, oops something's not gone quite right there um, we'll just do an undo edit oh, perhaps I'll do that here edit undo edit undo so we've got a bit of a oh here we go undo yep and oops okay looks like we're starting again here I'll just get that better positioned. Append HIP. Oh, it's just going there. So one's still there. And there we go. Accept and escape. So that gives us that uh, HIP uh, through there, horizontal. And then we have now got uh, road three to do. And I think that'll probably be enough for this little video, just the horizontal one. So let's just go strings, create, super alignment, super alignment. And this one will be row three. R O A D. Three, and we'll let's type it in. I think it's just as fast to type it in. Road three, R O A D three. That's in there, and that's going to uh, go in there. The chainage, no change there. The interval should be no change. Labels always want to be full, apparently. Um, Closure, transition, should be okay. Sync, IP defaults, all good. Let's create away. So we're going to start on this IP here. Um, oh, so we get number three and we pull it over here. And oops, just on here and hold, like so. Accept. Go to this one here. Accept. And up to this one here. Accept. Now I'm just going to go to the centre of the cul-de-sac. I rather suspect that I probably only needed to go to the start of the cul-de-sac, which is effectively this point here. But um, we'll, we'll see what happens. And then on here, we just need to put our curve in, which is uh, this change curve here. Click on number two. Oops. Didn't like that. But um, we'll, we'll have to get back to there. So, um, oh, it's road three that we want to go on, not road two. Um, so I think I've done something rather peculiar there undo undo yes no redo yeah so that there's all right there's just something weird going on here um i think with that one there I think I can do strings delete 
and I think I can pick that one there. Accept. Finish there. So I don't don't know what happened there, but hey, we solved the problem. Okay, so here is here, and we want to change the curve, and this is the curve we want to change here. Accept, and that's an 80 meter radius. Okay, so that's all our road horizontal alignments of our road. Um, they're all sorted. Um, unfortunately, I seem to have put them into a layer called unsuitable, which uh, I don't know why I've done that. Well, it doesn't seem to have be a problem. Um, I'll just check that out. The layer, it doesn't, the alignments don't seem to be layer dependent. So we'll just have a quick view new plan. Um, and I'll just go uh, unsuitable there, which is the one that we've got up there at the moment. Un un unsuitable one. Yeah, like that. Uh, so uh, that's all fine. Not a problem. Okay. Yes. Okay. And we'll bring this one up to full view here. And we, um, as we can see there, um, we have now got our horizontal alignments all done. And they sort of coincide with what we found from what we found from AutoCAD. So there's some good checks on things there. And we're going to finish this video now and then move on to the next video. And in the next video, we will look at the vertical alignments uh, through there and uh, see how, if we can get all that to mesh together. And then once that's done, then we can create the typical cross-section templates. And then we'll extrude those down those roads and see how that goes. So cheers. See you.